Hey, Facebook, I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience. I know you guys are shocked that I'm on here. It's been a minute, but come on in. I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience. God is so amazing. Bless his name for waking us all up this morning. As you come in, begin to get tag and share, tag and share. How are you guys? Come on in, come on in. I got a word for somebody that's going to be encouraging, uplifting, empowering, motivating. How are you guys? Come on in. Bishop Isaac, it's been a minute. I know, I know, I know. Yes, we can. Hit me up. Hey, Vera, how you doing? Y'all come on in and begin to get tag and share. I got something to say. Y'all know I don't jump on here unless God is giving me something to say. And it's been a minute. Do you get what I'm saying? But I am here tonight. I need you to begin to tag and share like crazy. The number tonight is four. Tag four people you love, four people you care about. Let's get all of the hellos out the way, baby, so we can get to business. It's not by coincidence that you are on this live tonight, baby. It's not by coincidence that we are face to face. It's not by coincidence that you were scrolling and you happened to push play. I need y'all to go crazy with me for just about another three minutes and begin to tag and share tag four people on tonight. Do you know that just your tagging and sharing is a seed in the ground? The Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. Hello, hello, everyone. I love you all. I love you all. But come on, come on. I ain't coming to play with the devil tonight. I know it's been a minute. I, I need you to begin to tag and share. How are you guys? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let's not play with the devil. This thing is personal on tonight. Begin to get tag and share. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need y'all to push a little bit. I'm not, I need y'all to push a little bit. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, <coughs> excuse me, what God wants to do in you and through you. Ah, uh, people of God, I'm just inviting a few people to the live. So if you see me looking down, that's why. Come on, come on. Begin to get tag and share. How are you guys? How are you guys? It's been a minute. Yes, yes, yes. It's been a minute, but God has been great. Come on. Thank you, Keisha Richie, for being obedient. Thank you, Jennifer, for tagging and sharing. Come on, come on. I see my help coming now. Teresa Matthews, thank you for tagging and sharing. Come on, people of God. I need y'all to push a little bit right now. Come on. Come on. Begin to push. Begin to push. Begin to push. Stay focused. Stay focused. Shanita, how are you, queen? Come on. Where my tag? Is I see my help coming in. Come on. Come on. See, it's been a minute, so I got to be patient and wait on Facebook to build me an audience. Come on in. Thank you, Mandy, for tagging and sharing. Come on in, people of God. Thank you for tagging and sharing today's message, people of God. If you are just now tuning in, watch this. The message today is be alert because my bounce back is about to give you whiplash. Be alert because my bounce back is about to give you whiplash. I need you to just push for 120 more seconds. It's taking a little bit longer tonight because I haven't been on at night in a while. So nobody was expecting me. But watch this. I'm believing that the people who's supposed to be on here on tonight will be on here. I need you to tag somebody who have been going through hell and high waters. I need you to tag somebody who's been feeling like wanting to give up, to collapse, and give in. I need you to tag somebody, people of God, who was at their breaking point. I was just reading my Bible, and I, I came across this verse that I just had to share. I came across this verse that I had to give to somebody else because as it began to move in my spirit, I knew it was not just for me, but it was for some other people. People of God, listen, 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 listen. Today's message, if you are just now tuning in, watch this. It's be alert. Why? Because my bounce back is about to give you whiplash. I need somebody to comment below. Be alert. Be alert. The word alert, people of God, means be aware. Pay attention. Keep your eyes open. We are in a season, people of God, where God is not only about to blow our mind, but he is about to blow the mind, watch this, of the ones who counted us out. Y'all better get this in the spiritual realm. Y'all better catch this in the spiritual realm. I came on real quick to drop a nugget on you and to keep it moving. Watch this, people of God. I 
said, tonight's message is be alert. Why? Because your bounce back is about to give your haters whiplash. Be alert. It's something about, watch this people of God. When the Holy Spirit is saying be alert, he basically means be aware. Keep your eyes open because something great is about to happen. I was looking at the scripture, Isaiah 43 and 19. Watch this. And it blessed me so much, people of God. Continue to please tag and share. Um, Isaiah 43 and 19 said, I read out of the Message Bible. It said, be alert. Be present. I'm, I'm going to stop right there for a minute. Be alert and be present. You can let all the ones who's been counting you out, you can let all the ones who's been judging you by your outer appearance because they see you walking with your head down, because they see you struggling a little bit, because they know you've been having to borrow a little bit of money lately, because they see you walking around crying because you don't smile the way you used to. You ain't got your swag on the way watch since you used to. They have counted you out. They had no idea, come on somebody, that God was preparing to get ready to give them whiplash on your behalf. Evangelist Shakira, what are you talking about? Watch this. He's getting ready to give them whiplash. Why, Evangelist? Why is he getting ready to do that? Because your bounce back game is about to be strong. I need somebody to comment below. My bounce back, my bounce back, my bounce back is about to be like no other. I'm, I'm about to bounce back in this season. It's about to throw so many people off of their game because they're not expecting me as the underdog. They're not expecting me as the one. Come on, somebody. That everybody has counted out Isaiah 43. 19 says be alert be present I'm about to do something brand new I need somebody to watch this before you can continue to go on in that scripture y'all know I like to break that thing down watch this people of God so you can get it watch this <coughs> He said he's about to do something brand new. He said be present and be alert because I'm about to do something brand new. That means what this thing that God, watch this, is about to do in your life, people of God. It's something unheard of. It's something unseen. It's something nobody has ever been done, been, um, done before because he said brand new. I need somebody to comment below. I need a new blessing. I, I need a new blessing. This type of blessing, God, that I need you to do for me it got to be unheard of. It got to be mind blowing. I need a new blessing. So Isaiah 43 and 19 says, be alert, be aware, be present. Come on, somebody. We broke down what alert mean. It says, because I'm about to do something brand new. Come on, somebody. And it's bursting out. Oh, Jesus, I love reading for the message Bible. It's bursting out, meaning, watch this, that thing is about to go on overflow mode in your life, meaning you are about to be blessed so big and so miraculous, it's about to fall down on your children and your grandchildren, meaning that thing is about to be so big on your life, it's not about to only be on you, but it's about to fall Watch this down on the people who work for you. Who am I speaking to? Watch this. This blessing is about to be so brand new and so big in your life. It's about to watch this not only hit you, but it hit everything connected to you. I'm talking about your best friends. I'm talking about your mama, your daddy. I'm talking about family. I'm talking about anything that's connected to you. Watch this genuinely. Oh, I need somebody to comment below genuinely. See, you got to catch that in the spiritual realm. You can walk with a bunch of people and they'll be wondering why I'm not as blessed as her. Watch this. Ah, God can't bless you because you ain't been genuinely there for me. Watch this when the favor that is on your life and you connected to some people who really got your back, the favor of God that is on your life will begin to fall on theirs. Why? Because they are connected to you and you are connected to the source. But watch this people of God. Sometimes everybody connected to you ain't genuinely Genuine. And when they are not genuine, come on somebody, it's something about the electric airways, it seems like they miss it, it seems like they're not plugged into the source, why? Because God can see unspoken conversations. Baby, I don't know who I'm helping tonight, 
But I just need somebody to comment below. Unspoken conversations. I'm going to break this thing down for you. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message is be alert. Watch this because your bounce back is about to give your haters whiplash. Be alert because your bounce back is about to give your haters whiplash. Watch this. So who you are connected to in this season, who's genuinely there for you, who's genuinely praying for you, who genuinely wants you to win. I should be seeing the word genuine in capital letters going across the screen right now. Y'all got to pay attention, baby. When I move, you move just like that. That's the only way we can come on one accord and the spiritual realm. Come on, watch this. Let me help somebody. Let me teach somebody. Watch this. People have counted you out for your outer appearance, but Isaiah 43 and 19 told me something different when it said, be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. You ain't got to worry about nobody saying, God copycatted your blessing. He blessed you with a, blessed them with a car. Now you just got blessed with a car. Nah, baby. God doing something new in your life. So your car won't be like their car. Come on, somebody. He's going to not only bless you with a new car, but a new house too. He's doing a new thing in your life. And it says, watch this. And it's bursting out. And then it says, don't you see it? Baby, listen. Let me pause right there and let me put a cord in the meter for you real quick. Let me let me bless somebody for a minute. We got to go in park mode. We got to go in park mode. Watch this. It, 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 in the scripture, it blessed me when it said, don't you see it? God got to ask us sometimes, could you not see what I'm doing? Because we get oh so overwhelmed by the world. We get so overwhelmed by what it looked like we don't got that we sometimes miss it. So what I like about this in Isaiah 43, 19, oh, come on. I feel my help coming from the Lord. Why, Lord Jesus. Listen, when I read this thing, I got to jump on live and bless somebody else with it. Isaiah 43 and 19. Y'all got to catch this in the spiritual realm. Don't nobody want to open their Bible no more. So let me help out the ones who are too busy to open it. Isaiah 43 and 19 said, be alert, be present. I'm about to do something brand new. And then it says it's bursting out. And then it says, do you not see it? Listen, baby, I have been in situations where it looked like God was nowhere around. I have been walking through the valley of the shadow of, the le of death. And it, it seemed like nobody was with me. It seems like I was in a dark place. It seemed like nobody understood. Come on, somebody. And sometimes when you're walking through the valley of the shadow of the death, watch this, people of God. It, 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 it's like the enemy begins to play with your eyesight. Things begin to get a little blurry. Everything look a little foggy around you. Come on, the bills start looking a little funny. Your pockets start touching a little bit more. I'm talking to some people on tonight who've been struggling a little bit but still trying to smile at the same time. I dare you to comment below, baby. I've been struggling, but I'm still smiling. The song says, don't worry, be happy, watch this. And I, I begin to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And sometimes it feels like you're walking along and your, 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 your vision can get a little blurry sometimes. 2020 vision don't work. Your eyeglasses, your prescribed contacts don't seem to work. And watch this. People of God, that's when God got to step in and say, do you not see it? He got to remind you that you got to see that thing before you see it. Everybody want to walk through open doors. Everybody want new keys. Everybody. They want their marriage to work. But watch this. Nobody don't want to go through nothing. Nobody don't want to have to step out on faith. Nobody don't want to have to see that thing before they see it. So it blessed me in Isaiah 43 and 19 when it said, watch this. He said he's about to do something brand new and it's bursting out. And then he said, do you not see it? I want to challenge somebody today. Watch this. We in park mode. I just told you to put a quarter in the meter for a moment because we got to sit right here in this area for a moment. I want to encourage somebody, watch this, encourage somebody tonight whose vision been a little blurry because watch this, people are throwing you off while they're throwing darts at you. I'm talking to some people who vision been a little blurry, watch this, because nobody don't want to help you out of the pit. God said, do you not see it? You got to see that thing before you see it. You can't just walk into an open door and say, oh, Jesus, I just heard the Holy Spirit say you can't walk into an open door unless you can reach out for the door knob. You better... Catch that thing in the spiritual realm. You can't go get you a new car and, and let you already see the dealership handing you the keys. Who am I speaking to on tonight? You have to know that you know that you know 
that God is moving. So if you are just now tuning in, tonight's message was be alert. Because God is, watch this, be alert because your bounce back is about to give your enemies whiplash. And we got to be alert. We got to be present. We got to be aware. Somebody ought to come in below. I'm paying attention. Somebody ought to come in below. I'm paying attention tonight. I haven't been on here in a while because I don't open my mouth unless God tell me. I ain't, I ain't desperate to grab a microphone. I ain't got to preach every Sunday. I ain't desperate for the followers. I've been followed. Come on, somebody in popular when I was in the world. I don't open my mouth unless God tell me to. But baby, let me tell you something. God is doing something. He's telling your enemies to be alert and be aware. Why? Because your bounce back is about to give them whiplash. Y'all know what whiplash is. People get in a car accident and they neck jerk from this way. Or come on, somebody, let me bless somebody. When you when when, when you used to do something wrong and come in the house and mama used to hit you across your back so hard, I'm about to knock your whole back in. You be like, ah. you get whiplash trying to grab that ah, grab that spot. I'm talking about it hurts so bad sometimes nothing don't even come out. Come on, who am I speaking? He said, you're about to get whiplash. They're about to get whiplash from your bounce back. People of God, you got to be able to receive this thing in the spiritual realm. This thing is so deep, I'm telling you. It, it, it blessed me, and watch this. And, and while I'm reading Isaiah 43 and 19, I'm reading from the Message Bible. Watch this, and he said, he said, I'm about to do something brand new. Brand new, that means this blessing that God is doing for you, it's unheard of, it's so big. You ain't got to worry about nobody saying you copied it. God made this blessing Especially for you, he said, brand new and it's bursting out. Do you not see it? And then watch this. The scripture says, there it is. Oh, I need somebody to comment below. God, send me a there it is blessing. Oh, you better catch this in the spiritual realm. Oh, come on, come on. When I move, you move just like that. When I move, you move just like that. Y'all better come in agreement with me over social media. Watch this. The scripture said, do you not see it? What a question mark. And then it says, there it is. Baby, listen to me. If you can see it, you can have it. Oh, come on. I need somebody. To, I'm going to speak over just about a hundred of you lives on tonight. If you can see it, baby, you can have it. You got to touch that thing in the spiritual realm. If you see yourself walking in that new house, baby, you can have it. If you see yourself being married, come on, somebody, with a, with a healthy relationship, you can have it. Come on, somebody. If you see yourself already delivered from drugs, do you know, watch this, you can have it. Baby, all you got to do is see it. All you got to do is see it. Come on, I don't know who needs to hear this, baby, but all you got to do, oh, Jesus, listen. All you got to do is see it. Real simple. And you can have it. All you got to do is see it. Millionaires seen themselves becoming millionaires before it happened. I, I tell all my friends all the time, baby, I'm a millionaire. You all tripping. But who? If you see it, you can have it. If you see it, you can have it. Somebody ought to say, I can see clearer now, baby. I can see clearer now that I done been on this live tonight. I can see. I don't care what your mama or daddy said. I don't care about every evil word spoken over your life. I don't care who got darts in your back and counting you out. If you can see it, you can have it. It said it's bursting out. Don't you see it? And then it says, there it is. And then watch this. It says, I am making a road through a desert, baby. Baby, let me sit this book down for a minute. In that verse, it also said, I am making a road through the desert. Now, listen, if you've never been, you know, in the desert before, baby, it's a dry place, real sandy, ain't no water. He said, I'm making a road through the desert. I'm making a way out of no way. That's basically what that means. I am. Baby, I'm making a way out of nowhere, listen, let me tell you something about me, people of God. Let me let me tell you something about me. I am the type of person, listen, I see and don't see. I hear and don't hear. God moves. Listen, God did something so big for me almost a month ago, and I still ain't released it yet. Because you got to be careful what you release in the airways in this season. Everybody who call you free and everybody who say they happy for you, that ain't really the case. We got to stop moving so quickly and make sure we are in the presence of God because it's in his presence 
that doors begin to open that no man can shut. It's in his presence that God begins to put your enemies to shame. It's in his presence that you can break generational curses. It's in his presence that you get your strength again. It's in his presence, come on, that that money begins to stack a little different. Jesus Christ, it's in his presence. Somebody out there coming below, I just want to, I, I just want to, and I just need to be in his presence. I just, I want to be in his presence. I was, let me tell you something. We was in church earlier today, and uh, <clears throat> one of the ministers who I love, y'all got to excuse me. One of the ministers who I love, he was up preaching in my church today, and he said, looked over at me and said, evangelist, it's just something about, like, we know when people be talking about us. And, it, you know, we, it, it, sometimes when you have a big heart, you know people don't mean you know well, and you just still love on them differently. Come on, somebody. You, it, it, it be people who, you know, owe your money out there and act like they don't owe you money, and you just still love on them. You say, God, I'm, I'm giving it to you. I ain't running nobody down. And, you know, you got some people who say, I'm really for you, and God don't already show them, showed you that you messy, showed them that you messy, and I, I just sat there in church like, yeah. Yeah, I be knowing why Because let me tell you something about people who really get in the presence of God They hear conversations without even being present You better catch that in the spiritual realm, baby You better, Baby, let me tell you something When they talking about you, all you gotta do is pray God will place you in the room of them you better, Baby, I can scream God will place you in the room of their conversation without your body physically being there. Why? Because he quickens your discernment. He sharpens your, he lets, come on, who am I speaking to? He lets, baby, he lets you know, I am truly growing. I have been letting so much stuff slide lately. Why? Because it's not worth my peace. Why? Because it's not worth me getting another mug shot. Why? Because I don't want to be like the old me anymore. I don't, I don't need no more street cred. I don't want to be that, 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 that Dr. Shakira McFadden that's out there fighting and trying to serve God too. I, I, I want to be better. Why? Because I want to be created in his image. I don't know who this is for on tonight. But tonight's message was be alert because God is about to give your enemies whiplash when they see the type of bounce back that you're about to have. Somebody ought to comment below, I'm about to bounce back. I'm about to bounce back. I'm about to bounce back out of poverty. I'm about to bounce back out of struggle. I'm, a bounce, I'm about to bounce back out of keep relapsing over and over. I'm about to bounce back. Come on, somebody. I, I, I'm depending on the government only. I'm, a, I'm about to bounce back. Come on. From, 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 from uh, sleeping with man to man or sleeping with woman to woman. I'm about to bounce back. From being depressed all the time and being broken all the time. I'm about to bounce back. From always needing a friend. I'm about to bounce back. Come on. From believing the things they spoke over my life. You got to mentally... Let me tell you, I, 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 I love the story in the Bible with David and um, we know he was a man after God's own heart uh, and I'm a firm believer and this is just me, this is just me, this is just me. I believe that some people, watch this, it's going to bless you now, some people, they sin, watch this, from the neck up. And some people, they sin from the neck down. Listen, let me help some of you because some of y'all have been saved longer than me. And you probably like Evangelist Shakira. What are you talking about? Right? Some people, they love God dearly. But they can't keep their eyes and their mouth under control. Or their mind ain't right. You got some people, some men, they love their wives. I'm talking about to death. I'm serious. But they can't help their eyes. The enemy know how to intensify. The enemy know what to make walk past them. Do you get what I'm saying? To throw them off track. Love they wives to death. Do you hear what I'm saying? But it's that flesh they can't get under control. 
So the enemy deal with their eyes. Boom, they seen Big Booty Judy walk by. Or, uh, 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 or you know, uh, 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 um, they see that, that brick house walk by and they got to have it. I'm talking about it, that thing replaying their head over and over and over. Knowing they got a good wife at home cooking, cleaning. But can we just be real for a moment, right? I'm just giving an example. Some people, they sin. Their heart is good. That's why I say from the neck up. It, it, it's going to take you to not be so holy for a moment to catch this in the spiritual realm, right? Good hearted person, right? But from the neck up, things ain't right. They mind play tricks on them sometimes. They lust with their eyes. They go to cussing people out. Watch this. It might not even just be cussing people out. Sometimes your, your mouth can be your problem. Watch this because you're speaking negative all the time. So you speak negative in the atmosphere. You speak negative over your life. You speak negative over your finances. What are you talking about evangelist? I'm broke. That's speaking negative. Your problem is your mouth. You got a good heart. You will give the last you got. But this is the problem. So some people, watch this people of God. Their problem is from the neck up. But some people, come on, watch this, I'm going to bless you. Their problem or their sins may come from the neck down. What are you saying, evangelist? Your heart cold. People done did you wrong, used you up, did you so bad and everything like that. You cold hearted, you hate people. You got some people just, <coughs> excuse my language, walk around angry because their heart ain't right. Watch this. Out of their mouth, they know how to still say, I love you, I'll be there for you, and I'm proud of you. But they, they heart wicked in the background. Jealous, envious of you. Heart been broke. Watch this. I said from the neck of down, neck down. You got some people, their mind is right. Their intentions is to do right. Watch this. They, they, they want to stop laying on their back for money. They want to stop sleeping with somebody else, man. Watch this. They, they mind telling them, don't do it. It ain't right. But between their legs, they got to have it. God preach to somebody. Do you know, come on, somebody, that, that being a nympho, being a person who needs sex all the time, you know that's a spirit? That's a spirit. The church people don't want to talk about it, but I go there. That's a spirit. You got spirits who climb into your bed and make love to you at night. You don't. You wake up with your panties wet or, or, or your boxers wet and don't even know why. Can I take somebody on tonight? Can I take somebody on tonight? Your, your, your mind want to do right. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to stop hanging around people. I'm going to stop letting this Negro, you know, come into my bed and lay up with me and don't mean me no way. I'm going to stop doing that. My, my mind want to do right. But baby, from the neck down, I can't control myself. Who am I speaking to on today? But it's okay. The good thing about it, whether your problem comes from the neck up or from the neck down, God is a forgiving God. He's a helper. He's a way maker. He's a, oh, Jesus. Let me tell you, he, he's that person you could go and talk to and, and don't got to worry about your business being repeated. Who am I speaking to? He's that person, baby, going to be a real genuine friend, going to check people when they got something negative to say about you, not indulge in conversation. Who am I speaking? He's a baby, a healer, a protector, a provider. Come on, somebody. He's merciful. He's gracious. Who am I speaking to? Listen to me. Today's message, if you are just now tuning in, was be alert. Be aware. Because your bounce back is about to give your enemies whiplash. Somebody ought to come in below. Your neck about to hurt, baby. Your neck about to hurt. I know you low-key wanted me to keep struggling, but your neck is about to hurt, baby. I know you low-key wanted me to stay stuck at the bottom, baby. But I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. The Bible said, be alert. He said, be alert, be aware. In Isaiah, he's about to do a brand new thing. Baby, brand new. Isaiah 43 and 19 said, be alert. Be present. I'm reading out of the Message Bible. I'm about to do something brand new. Watch this. It's bursting out. Do you not see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert. Baby, somebody about to leave the hood. 
Somebody about to come up out of that struggle, baby. And you about to be out there with the people you ain't got no business even out there with. Somebody about to get hired on a job they're not even qualified for. Somebody out of comment below, God qualified me. God, he qualified, baby. He qualified. You better catch this thing in the spiritual realm and you better jump in quickly. Baby, God qualified me. I don't need to live up to your standards. I don't need to be perfect anymore. Why? Because my God has qualified me. Somebody out of comment below, I'm qualified. I'm, baby, I'm qualified and everything connected to me genuinely is qualified too. Come on, I'm qualified Because I'm connected to the plug I'm qualified Because my heart is pure I'm qualified Because I'm imperfect but willing I'm qualified Because I trust them Come on somebody, when I can't trace them I'm qualified I'm qualified for that brand new thing That God is about to do you the one that's watching this video. I don't, I, don't, I don't want you to give up. I want you to keep believing God. He's still a miracle worker. I, I want you to keep believing God. Because the blood still works. You ought to comment below. The blood still works. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying, if there is someone on you right now. Who don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. You don't want to walk in the church because you say the church people, they, they just as messy as the people in the world. You don't want to walk in the church because you say, I don't want to be judged. You don't want to walk in the church because they have condemned you. You don't want to walk in the church because people has judged you. I dare you right now to just open your mouth and repeat after me and say, God, I accept you as my Lord and Savior, Jesus. I accept you into my heart. I'm not perfect, but I'm willing. I need you to come in and fix all of my mess because I've done it on my own for too long and I can't get it right. So Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior and I give you my heart. I'm not perfect, but I'm willing. In Jesus' name, and then say amen. If you are someone, watch this. I don't want you to worry about who's on here. And you just received Jesus just then by repeating after me. Because it's just that simple. We make it hard, especially the church people. Can I talk about it? Baby, we, we overdo that thing for no reason. I'm saying we so people don't get offended. But if you just received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I received him when I was locked up. On a hard steel bed. Didn't know nothing about him. I was living off mama and grandma prayers. You heard me? But if you were, if you that person who just received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I just want you to come and blow right now. I just accepted him. I just accepted him. I just accepted him because why? God is doing a new thing. But he can't do a new thing if you don't know him. Some of you watch this, you might have already knew him. But you just let go of his hand because it seemed like it wasn't working. This Jesus stuff ain't working. Everybody getting blessed. But me, I dare you to say, Jesus, come back into my life. Real simple. Jesus, I need you back into my life. I just want you to comment below. I accept the M tonight. I accept. Don't worry about who's watching. Who Jesus. Blessings upon you, Tay B. Come on, Rico. That's what I'm talking about. The men. Blessings upon you. Come on. I just accepted them. Julie. Bless. Oh, mighty God. The angels are rejoicing. Whew. It's just that simple, people of God. We All you got to do is say, come in. Why? Because we a whole mess anyways. We done tried it our way. Some of y'all been trying to do everything to hustle up money. Uber ain't working. <clears throat> Standing on the block ain't working. Come on. Laying on your back. Could I keep it real? To continue to get your bills paid. It ain't working. You feeling <clears throat> less and less of yourself. <clears throat> Sticking in that relationship because it's the only way you and your kids gonna keep a roof over your head. Your way ain't working anymore. Come on. Your way ain't working. Taking medication after medic. Your, your way ain't working anymore. And God said, I'm doing a new thing. I gave you the scripture tonight to stand on Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. I gave you the scripture to stand on tonight. Isaiah 43 and 19. That's your foundation scripture for tonight. It's your foundation scripture for tonight. I need everybody to begin to type that real quick. Isaiah 43 and 19. 
Isaiah 43 and 19. That's our foundation scripture on tonight. Come on, I want you to catch this thing in the spiritual realm. God is doing something amazing. It's 273 people right now. I cannot let you go without giving you the opportunity to sow a seed. The seed on tonight, people of God, is $33.19. $33.19. Some of you are going to sow $33.19. Some of you are going to sow $133.19. But I can promise you, either way, that all you got to do is trust God. And he said that your enemies, come on, watch this. Your enemies, people of God are about to get whiplash because of your bounce back. The information is, is put to the bottom. And I always tell people, don't, don't sow into my ministry unless you're believing God for the words that are coming out of my mouth. Don't do it. But if you're believing God for something miraculous, I dare you to trust them because I know I'm good ground. That's why I always give people the option to sow. I don't just say, go, I don't just say go and sow because you got to know what you're sowing into. So the seed tonight, I just gave it to you. The information is to the bottom. Cash app, Chime and Zell. It's 754-246-0580. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two N's at AOL.com. $33.19 or $139.19. We got to begin to trust God in the process. Some of you don't believe in sowing, don't sow. But I can get, watch this. Some of you, you don't even have it to sow. You're taking a risk by sowing. It's a lot of people sowing. I'm going to call out some names. People were already sowing. But I want you, before I even call the number, they always do. But I, I want you to put in the memo section tonight when you're sowing. I want you to say, be alert. Be alert. Be alert, baby. You better be alert because my bounce back is about to give you whiplash. Isaiah 43 and 19 is the foundation scripture on tonight. It's a lot of people sowing. 33:19. Come on, somebody. 3319, some of you don't have it to give. Some of you have it to give. You know if God is pulling on your on, on you to sow. You know what God is doing. May God bless the people who wanted to give, and may He bless the people who decided to give. May God just do something amazing in the lives of the ones who accepted him. Some of you are saying, who is this lady? She got these gold teeth and tattoos, but I, I can just feel where she's coming from. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. You get what I'm saying? I've been there. Thank you, Patrina Walker. She's one of my regulars. She's saying God might be leading in your heart to sow for somebody else who's on here who don't have it. He might be saying, put a seed in the ground for, you know, you and somebody else you don't know. He might be saying, put a seed in the ground um, um, for somebody in your family or a friend. But I'm believing that God is really doing a brand new thing. And all we got to do is we got to trust him. We too worried about who like us and who don't like us. I was telling Minister Kim that earlier today when I was talking to her. I, we, 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 we get so sidetracked about the wrong things. And, and we need to work on ourselves. We got to see it before we see it. I'm going to get ready. I love you too, Keisha Richie. I love you too. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Keep your head above water. Your time is coming, baby. It has to. Why? Because you've been faithful. Your time is coming. Why? It has to because, you know, it, 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 you, you've been going through the test long enough. Your time is coming. Why? Because they counted you out. It's a lot of people. So and let me call out a bunch of names real quick. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to call out some. Rosa Dozier, I'm in agreement with you. Monique Martin, I'm in agreement with you. Patricia Gutman, I'm in agreement with you. Renee Williams, um, I'm in agreement with you. Um, Roshan Smith, I'm in agreement with you. Trichelle Wright, I'm in agreement with you. Pat McCray, I'm in agreement with you. Pizza, Pizza Badu, P-U-D-U-A, maybe that's a business because it starts with Pizza. I'm in agreement with you. My Life Journey, I'm in agreement with you. God is, he's amazing. And you know, you guys can meet me back here tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I've been doing daytime, nighttime, uh, and everything like that. I just started back doing my lives because I've been so busy handling something else. But 
I just wanted to come remind somebody tonight, keep pushing. God with you, he hasn't forgotten you. You're important to him. You're important to him. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard what God is about to do in your life. What he's about to do in you and through you. What he's about to do in you and through you. What he's about to do in you and through you if you just believe him. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go back in here and watch a movie with my husband. But I don't want you to give up. I want you to keep pushing. Don't worry about the naysayers. Jesus couldn't get to the cross without Judas. Judas sat right up under him, knowing he was about to cross him. Jesus didn't mind. Because it had to be, be fulfilled. He needed to get to the cross to accomplish his goal. Sometimes Judas going to sit right up under you. And you got to be okay with that. Learn to control the way you react to nobody. Oh, Jesus. I think that's going to be my message in the morning. Learn to control the way you react to nobody's people who are beneath you. People who are behind you for a reason. Stop giving them that much attention. They don't deserve it. I love you guys. God bless you guys. The seeds for tonight was $33.19 or $139.19. Once again, Cash App Chime and Zell is 754-246-0580. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two ends at AOL.com. If you have family members that want to watch my video, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. I don't have no other Instagram. They're all fake pages. Up under my comments, you'll see people asking for cash apps. Mm -hmm. I have completely stopped blocking the people because I block them and they make 50 more pages. Use my phone number whenever you're, watch this, sewing into my ministry, okay? I love you guys. God bless you guys. Take care. Be blessed.